I think there's a parallel between Zika and HIV, not because they are different, they are similar viruses or any of that, but the social impact and our response, their stigma. The pregnant women with Zika infection do not disclose. They are afraid. They are afraid of you to judge them. Why did you get Zika? Weren't you using condoms? Weren't you using the mosquito repellent? You did not take care of yourself. So they are afraid of being blamed by getting the Zika. They, uh, they are afraid, of course, of having a baby with something that's, you know, a, di uh, a disability. That's also part of uh, the concern of any pregnant woman as well, the, the health of the babies. I've had women whose partners abandoned them because they found out that they had Zika. And so it's stigma, there's, uh, there's a lot of concern. Communication is not clear. People have a lot of uh, misperceptions about Zika. It is not the same, absolutely. HIV and Zika, it is not the same. But I, th I think Zika concerns me because it causes birth defects. That's the main issue with Zika. It causes birth defects. And this is why it is something that we need to make sure that we can control. That we, we need treatments, we need vaccines, we need vector control. We need to make sure that women get access to uh, contraception access to health care, access to prenatal care, and access to quality health care.